All right, here we go. We are going to do the full preview of the entire 2021 Chronicles draft. So we have two of everything, two of the fat packs, two hanger boxes, two blasters, and two megas. Um, I know of these, you're not going to expect too much. You get some playoff or bronze parallels. These, you're going to get one exclusive um, black. This one you're going to get, you're going to look for blaster exclusive pink, and you're going to get like 13 of whatever. I mean, really, it's kind of whatever we're going to see out of them. And then you're going to get one uh, Megabach exclusive green Optichrome parallel in these. So I figured to do a good um, review, we want to open something of everything. So let's start kind of on the low end and go and go up. So these, you're just getting your one pack. That was this Moody. Oh man, I hope we're not gonna flip these packs over. Jalen Johnson, Isaiah Jackson, Keon Johnson, and we have a select prism in here, Jade Springer. Jaden Springer. So yeah, so I'd say that's pretty good hit when it comes to uh, what's in there, but we'll see and compare it on the other boxes. Mobley, oh man, I hate it when we gotta flip cards upside down over and over again. I know I'm not the only one. I got Jackson, Jalen Johnson, another Mobley Kai, Greg Brown, and a nice Cade Cunningham to end it off. Um, so when it comes to hit-wise, obviously I'd say um, the uh, select prism in there. So let's open another one. See if we get another select, if there's going to be another prism. Um, I know that's kind of what you're looking for in a lot of these. Zaire, I'm not going to flip all these because they're all base anyways, and we got a lot to cover. Looks like we got a gold optic in here, though, so or bronze, I would assume. It's a sharp card. Kai Jones Prism. Yeah, I mean, if you're getting a Prism in each one of these packs, that's pretty good. Mitchell Johnson, Brandon Boston. So then you're going to get the rest of your variety. Yeah, I'd say not too bad out of the uh, fat packs getting these two. So there would be your two hits on your low end, you know, five, six, seven bucks or whatever those are. So there is your two Prisms. I'm not going to worry about uh, sleeving these up. We have too much to open. So let's get to the hanger boxes. And then you go up, typically you're going to find you're going to get a little bit more of your uh, nicer selection of cards. And we're going to do the same thing here. Just kind of go through them fairly quick. Brandon Boston. Jones, Greg Brown. There's a nice Cade. Jalen Suggs. So we got an optic with some nice horrible print lines on there. So I'm still not going to consider that really a hit either. Jones. And this must be the black. That is definitely what that is. Cool looking card, so I guess that would be considered the hit in the Hanger box, Jalen Suggs. Another Cade, another sharp card. Thought that one was a little bent up, but yeah, so I mean, you're just getting a more variety. You're still getting a lot of the lower end product in here. And really, you're just getting a lot more base. I didn't see too much besides we did get uh, the optic with the uh, print lines galore on it. So let's do the other hanger. See the kind of mimic. I almost kind of like the fat pack. If we had to compare that one better than I like the hanger box on that one. And I'm sure, like most people notice, these cards are available, it seems like, at Target or Walmart. They're sitting on the shelves a lot longer. I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, they definitely have them kind of scattered everywhere. So, Suggs. Try to get these the other way. So, then there is another. That's not even an optic, that's just a Donruss. 
So we got to select Jalen Green. So not a prism or anything, just a base. Barnes, Moses Moody. That wouldn't be considered our black, would it? Scott Barr, Frank, Kai Jones. So not too much in there. I mean, I would have to... Oh, this must be right here. Couldn't tell as much because of the color of the card, but... So in our hanger box, between the two, I don't know. I mean, really, besides for the black ones... Um, you know, I would say really nothing too special when it comes to the hanger. So, I mean, for me, I almost would say, you know, you can get a box of these for 80 bucks compared to what the hangers are. But let's move on up to the blasters. Now, I think now when you're getting into these, you have a better chance of getting, um, you know, stuff like your memorabilia cards. Oh, that one's kind of smashed in there pretty good. Look at that. Like, a little bit of a security stuff in here. I don't know if that's normal in there or what. I guess we'll find out when we open the other one. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of crazy. I mean, it doesn't sound like it. Maybe there's something good in here and they had to adjust for the weight or something. Who knows? I mean, it's still only four packs, so let's go through these. Evan Mobley, Jalen and Jalen Barnes, and sorry. So you can kind of see you're getting some better stuff in these. You're getting your rookies and star base, um, some of the nicer looking cards. Cameron Johnson and Mosaic Pink. So in the Mosaic Pink is a look for so it won't show the odds unfortunately so we don't know what the odds are of getting that one in there but but yeah sharp card so that's a great hit this is one of my favorite uh, looks of cards and kind of funny it's the same player okay so let's keep her going Moody, Moody. I mean, come on. Really? Three, it's a Moody pack. And then you're green. So, so I'd say not a bad hit. We got the pink one in there. Man. Oh, then we get, uh, so we're going to get another pink in there. So there's an optic, which are always sharp cards. And then another pink. So yeah, so in the first blaster, two pink inserts with an optic, so not too bad. Throw those over there, and let's go. At least these only have four packs. Makes it pretty quick and easy for us to get through. Let's see if there's a million tags in here too. So not near as many. So I wonder if they do that for weight or if they're, you know, adjusting for something. I don't know, but that was that was pretty crazy. That was pretty crazy to have that much in there. All right. Man Donris. There's a nice flux and a pink. Isaiah Jackson. Davium. It's not too much different. I mean, I would imagine we should get another pink card in here. I would imagine, anyways. There's a mosaic. We got one less card in here. Or two less cards, maybe. Five cards per pack. Well, I hope that means we have something extra in there, I guess. There's a Modus Moody. Mosaic. 
Yeah, there's none hiding that uh, needle, so that is strange, to say the least. Very strange. Cameron Thomas. And this one. Ian Johnson. Like I said these are these are one of my favorite looking cards, that's for sure. So yeah, that was very strange. Besides for being light pack. Um, five cards per pack. We had three. I think one of the other cards, uh yeah, I don't know. That was weird. Definitely feel like we were missing some cards in that one. But yeah, I know from the blaster, besides for getting a few extra hits, I mean, some of the pink, again, value-wise, we got two optic and a select prism out of the fat pack, you know, which is just strange. So, um, oh, these could, have, these could have been other ones out of that pack. Who knows? All right, so finally, let's get to the megas. Because this is usually what people are looking for if they're going to buy these boxes. Um, so for number wise, um, obviously we went from the hanger. There was 30 cards. Um, here you're getting 20. So already you're getting obviously the dropping cards from 30 to 20, from 15 bucks to I think these are 25, 28, depending on where you get them. 30. And then you got your megas, uh, which are going to have 60 cards. So there is definitely. Uh, Definitely way more value in these. This is going to be a lot more to open, but this is where we really should get our value. And in some product, it seems like a blaster can be almost as valuable as some of the other products as a Mega. But here you're getting way more packs of cards, way more cards. Um, so now it's just kind of depending on what we can hit for some of the inserts and everything. So, Isaiah Jackson, Johnson. And again, this one, we're going to get more of the green parallels. Come on. Don't want to bend any corners on these as we're going. And then we do have a select back here, Evan Mobley. And what do you know? Another Keon Johnson. So I will say, with the amount of cards you're getting in these, I mean, probably just getting, there's a nice green. Um, if you're getting these, you probably don't need to, to get a ton of them. I mean, because there's not a big checklist and you're getting so many of the same cards. It's not like you're getting, I mean, it's not like there's crazy pulls all the time. Um, then you might as well just get a hobby box. Um, but you're going to see a lot of similar cards. Um, and then you can probably buy the singles of certain players. Now, if you're after just every player, just because you never know who's going to be the guy, uh, then, of course, yeah, then you can get more of them. But, yeah, see, we're not getting anything too unique. It'd be kind of cool to get the set of these, though. That's for sure. Nice to get some type of crazy pull out of there. Just something interesting to see. And Mitchell. And there's a flux. They're just cooler cards, not really considered a hit. That's probably one of the nicer ones I've gotten. Kate Cunningham XR, so cool card to get. And these tributes are kind of cool looking, but. Uh, And there's that green again. So I don't know. It's hard on these fat packs that give the, the couple of prisms. Unless I pulled two good ones, I mean. Uh, and it depends on how many cards you want. But that's all per person. I know the blasters sat for quite a while at our local Walmart. Scotty Barnes. Um, so, those are a little easier to get. Mega typically sell quicker, but I think these are going to be a little easier to find. There's a nice Cade. 
and then a recon. I would imagine it's a little harder to get some of the autos and stuff out of these. There's another nice green Cade. Recon. Another sharp looking card. I would expect we should get some pretty decent cards after opening this many packs. You would hope so anyways. There's just a base mosaic. It's hard to not have scratches on the base mosaic cards, that's for sure. Trey Man Tribute. All right, so let's see. We have not pulled anything too crazy. We've pulled the variations. Should look at the back of this quick. I mean, there's got to be some... Uh, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of numbered opportunities when it comes to getting some numbered cards, but uh, obviously we have not seen that yet. So let's see if we can find a numbered card. We're not going to be able to uh, let's set these to the side here. So this is our opportunity. Especially if we're reviewing them. It's kind of like you want to have something, something good to pull, but obviously it's reality of what we're pulling. So we got another green in here. Right off the bat this time. Johnson, and then here is our select green. Size for some small variations. Um, I haven't seen too much crazy out of these. Johnson, it would have been nice to have that green one numbered, but. Johnson. Jalen and another Jalen, another green. And it's always nice as you go up, and especially in this mega where you're getting more green. Yeah, Jack. All right. Hang with. Keep her under that 20 minute mark. A lot of stuff to go through. And then there's another Optic, Moody, Scotty Barnes. It's kind of a dead pack, huh? Thomas, Rated Rookie, and a Marquee Green. So again, these are sharp cards. It would be awesome if we could run into something numbered in here. Out of all the packs we just opened, I'm going to have such a wide collection of every player uh, pretty easily at this point. Garza. Select. Flip that around. Select our with sharp cards. Four packs left. So I don't know what I don't know what you guys think. It'd be interesting if you guys have pulled something crazy. It'd be kind of nice to see it out of here. Oh, what's that? What do I? What, what was that? We're we're poking at back there. Is it just a backwards card? Oh man, there's nothing worse than just a backwards card. Complete auto. Everybody who we've ever dreamed of right there. Well, I got to be happy we got an auto out of the deal. Is it always going to be the players that you uh, want? Not always, so. So, yeah, so there is officially probably uh, by far our best hit. Not numbered and so we're going to design yeah so you can get autographs pretty much in any variation in here so at least we pulled one we know it happens i'll kind of recap that one and uh, sleeve that one up and then our marquee
Pretty basic. Can't imagine we're gonna get too much more for hits out of this one. I think we did pretty good out of it. But for the price of the box, the auto's gotta be kind of worth it too. Kate in front and Isaiah. So, so yeah, the mangas, you are gonna get the better opportunity for hits. We did pull our auto, which I'll sleeve that one up right away. Um, we got a select green and optic and some good green color out of the two megas though i mind you um so out of the remember out of the fat packs we pulled these two so i mean really you have just as good a chance for spending a few bucks um, i think you can get an entire box of fat packs for like 85 bucks on target so you might have a good opportunity to just pull a bunch more of these and get some good players in there as well um, and as we know with autos, it's always more difficult to get the players that you want in the autograph cards anyways. So, um, so yeah, I said it's all per person. I always go after the megas, but I've learned that you can still get some pretty good exclusive cards out of the fat packs as well. If you're just looking for something to rip a bunch of packs, um, but these are a little more widely available. So you don't have to quite be as, um, demanding to buy as soon as you see it. You can kind of pick and choose what you like the best. So happy hunting.